What's up everybody, this is Royce from Paddle Metal, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Jada Toy's new 124 scale diecast metal uh, Batmobile. This is from the Classic Television series. And we'll go ahead here and spin it around. So I don't know, this might be a... Uh, the scale, 124 scale might be coming back. It, seem to to me that it doesn't sell very well but I could be wrong because uh, there's been a lot of uh, Japanese car releases in 124 scale and uh, of course there's plenty of muscle cars in that scale to choose from so we'll go ahead here and take a look at this It's a, it, for the most part, is pretty much static. You can open both doors. And the real car was, of course, a George Barris design, as most of you know, and was built from a 1955 Lincoln Futura concept car. details are not bad now this was retailed for this is uh, supposed to sell for $22 range now I do see on eBay there quite a bit more on there of course I like the detailing here this is really really cool the way they did the for the rocket booster there Does have rubber tires. And you cannot open the hood or anything, but we'll see here what the, the detail is. It's not real detailed in the interior. That could be significantly better. And I'm sure there's going to be people out there detailing these up, such as myself. I'll probably get in there and try to take us apart and detail the interior. I don't know how he's stuck in there. Let's see if we can get Robin out of there. Come on, Robin. Get out of there. Boy wonder. I'm not sure how he's in there. Come on. Oop, I don't want to break it. Uh-oh. I don't know. Well, maybe he's not supposed to come out. I'll have to figure that out then. But there's the details of the boy wonder there. Now we just, the only paint issue I really saw was right there on the hood. You can see a, a rub mark, and that could probably be waxed out, I would think. Buffed out. But the paint's not, not bad. The, all the uh, orange pinstriping appears to be painted on. Somehow it's applied. It's not a tampo. Not that I could tell. It definitely looks like a paint masked, you know, masked off and painted. But you could easily detail this up and make it a lot nicer, like the exhaust pipes and steering wheel and a fire extinguisher and or bat extinguisher, I guess you'd want to say. And there's a lot of little things you could do to this to make it better. Not bad. And, uh, I don't know about Robin, but I'm pretty sure Batman is die-cast metal. It's very heavy with a rubber cape. And he stands. He seems to stand. Definitely, I think he's metal. He stands very nicely. So I think, I think this one's going to fly off the shelves. I really do. Like I said, I paid $22 for it at local Toys R Us. And they did have the tumbler there out of the other cars that they offer. And that looked really nice too and heavy. I should have probably picked that up as well. But I'm more of a fan of the original series. I just always thought the, the George Barris car was really cool. 
So there you go, just a short, quick review. And um, I definitely think it's worth buying if you're into that. And like I said, being 124 scale, it's, well, it's probably a little bit longer than my, my hand. So I would say it's a good 11 inches long to give you an idea if you're not familiar with, with the 124 scale. And the figures are, let's see here. The figure Batman appears to be about three inches tall. It's pretty cool. So, all right, so thanks for checking it out. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. All right, bye now. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Royce from Pedal Metal, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be reviewing Jada's 124 scale classic TV series Batman. And this is the. Uh, let me start over. That sucked.